guys, it's Deidre from Our Upcycled Life and welcome to my channel. If you like thrifting, DIYs and repurposing, um, you've come to the right place and I'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY tutorials. Um, and if you're on Instagram or Facebook, I'll put the links below because I'm always uh, posting there all my daily activities and little things that I'm making that I don't make into videos um, and you can catch up with me over there. Uh, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to Mod Podge onto canvas. Um, I always try when I'm doing a project to use something thrifted before I go and buy something brand new. Um, so I, I had a canvas that was already actually framed and had a painted picture already on it, but um, I'm going to upcycle it and make it brand new and beautiful. If you don't have a canvas that you can find in the thrift store and you just want to have a blank canvas from the dollar store or Michaels or Hobby Lobby, um, you can go out and buy one and just follow the same steps that I did only with a brand new one. But me being an upcycler, I always love to upcycle. Okay, so today I'm going to show you a step-by-step step tutorial of how I made one. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, let's get started. <laughs> This is a frame that I picked up at the thrift store. Um, somebody had previously oil painted a picture and had it professionally framed, and I picked it up for $2.99. I think they had used an oil paint on this, so I'm going to take my sanding block, it's an 80 grit, and I'm gonna sand off all the high little spots on the canvas, um, so when I paint it, it's nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take a wet cloth and wipe off all the dust and dirt and debris on the canvas and the frame. Now I'm going to tape off the wooden frame because I don't want to get any paint on it. So I'm just using my painter's tape um, to protect the wood and then I can paint the canvas. I always like to prep my canvas. I find if you don't put any paint on top of the canvas, it's kind of slippery. And um, especially if you're gonna do a photo transfer or a graphic transfer, it doesn't stick very well. So all of my canvases, I always put um, chalk paint on them. And I find the chalk paint works best even over the latex uh, for it to adhere the best. I'll put a link below in the description for my chalk paint recipe. I'm putting two coats of the black base coat on um, just so I can cover up that painting that was underneath it. If you were just using a raw canvas, um, you probably could skip this step and just put on the one top coat of chalk paint. And after I have this last coat on, I'm gonna let it dry thoroughly. And now we're ready to put on the white on top. So this is my white chalk paint um, and it's going to take two coats of the white chalk paint and uh, I'm gonna let it dry really well in between coats of that too. Okay, the canvas is completely prepped and dry and ready for us to decoupage and to graphic transfer onto with Mod Podge. And these are the napkins that I'm going to use. I bought them at the dollar store and they're a beautiful floral pattern and I'm going to decoupage them onto the canvas. So I'll show you the steps of how to do that. The first thing you wanna do is to make sure that you remove all of the plies of the uh, napkin. You only wanna have the top ply um, to decoupage onto the canvas. Wet your fingers a little bit when you're trying to pull the different plies apart um, and it makes your job a little bit easier. 
And don't throw away those other white plies. They're great for little messes and wipe ups. And of course, this can be kind of fussy sometimes. Just take your time and be patient and they eventually will come apart and just try to, when you're pulling them apart, not to rip the napkin with the graphics on it. Now what I like to do when I'm going to decoupage is I don't like to use the scissors when I'm cutting out the little designs on the napkins. I like to rip it. That way you can blend it in better when you're putting it on the canvas. So I just gently kind of um, rip around the actual part of the napkin that I want to put onto the canvas um, and I always make sure that you rip away the outside edge too um, because if not it will show a straight line on your um, picture. And as I rip away all of the uh, flowers that I want on my canvas, I'm going to place them um, out where I want them and then they'll be ready to Mod Podge when I have them all set where I think they look the prettiest. Okay, now the fun begins. We're going to get the Mod Podge. I like to use the matte finish um, and we're going to decoupage these flowers down on this canvas. Okay, you wanna use a really thin layer of the Mod Podge, just enough to stick that napkin down. Um, if you put too much on the canvas, it'll wrinkle up um, and it'll bubble. So just a really light, light coat. I don't like to put any Mod Podge on the actual napkin. I just put it on the canvas and then I will set it down in that one area. Just do one area at a time. I'm gonna set it down in that area and just gently kind of tap it down. And then I'm gonna take my paintbrush. I'm not going to put any more Mod Podge on it. I'm just going to leave it dry and just kind of push it down into that canvas and make sure I get out all the air bubbles and all the little wrinkles. You don't want to play with it too much because if you do you'll have the chance of maybe ripping it or pulling it away from where it wants to stay. Um, so just gently kind of tap it down and just uh, let it set and then go on to the next spot. Again, just a really light, light coat. And then you're just going to place the napkin down where you want it. And then just very gently take your paintbrush as it's dry and just brush out any wrinkles or air bubbles. Okay, and I have it all decoupaged. Um, you can see a little bit where I went over the edge. Uh, when that's completely dry, I'll take a little X-Acto knife and I can cut off all those pieces um, so they don't stick to the frame. Okay, and now in the middle, I'm going to do a reverse graphic transfer method using the uh, Mod Podge. So I've designed these graphics on PicMonkey, um, and after you've designed them, you wanna make sure that you reverse the text. If you don't, when you put it on your project, it will be backwards. I print them off on my LaserJet printer on regular computer paper. Once again, you're gonna use the Mod Podge matte finish and you're going to put a light coat all over the graphic on uh, just like when you're decoupaging you don't want too much you know if you put too much it'll wrinkle up and it'll bubble so you're just putting a light coat over that whole graphic 
and then you're going to flip it over and center it where you want it on your canvas and press out all the air bubbles and all the little wrinkles and that's how you do the reversed transfer method. I have lots of other tutorials in my DIY playlist. Um, I'll put the link below where I go even into more depth of how I make these graphics that might help you out um, and inspire you for some different projects. I use PicMonkey to make my graphics. It's a paid subscription, but you don't have to. You can use your a word program. Um, you can use Canva. You can use Google Docs. Um, any of those programs will help you create your own graphics. Let everything dry overnight. Okay, we've let everything sit overnight and now we're just gonna dampen the graphics with a wet rag. Make sure you don't get any of that water on the um, decoupage parts and then you're just gonna rub away the paper and the graphics will stay on the canvas. Take your time, rub gently. Uh, you might need to add a little bit water if it dries out a little bit, but just don't soak it. If you soak it, it will actually lift the graphics right off of the canvas. So you just want it just damp and rub away. And now for the last step, I'm gonna put on some Verathane. I like using the water-based satin, and this is crystal clear, non-yellowing, and I like to use it as a top coat over the Mod Podge. I find the Mod Podge sometimes is a little bit too thick, and it can sometimes dry a little bit cloudy, so this is my favorite top coat. And there you have your upcycled canvas with decoupage, napkins, and a medium transfer graphic. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and it has inspired you to make one for yourself. I hope you enjoyed watching and have a great day.